if you're like me, at some point, you have absolutely hated your website. I can't even tell you exactly how many iterations I've done of LaShondaBrown.com, but it has to be at least eight. Now recently, I found this awesome new template, the Rally template that Girlboss uses for their website, and I love it. And as I was digging behind the back end of Squarespace, I realized there were built-in pop-ups. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but they're hidden in the depths of the Squarespace platform and you can utilize them to grow your list. It's an absolute game changer not having to use a third party site. So today I'm gonna walk you through the back end, show you where these are, and then you can decide whether or not you wanna turn the feature on. Now, if you do go to LaShawnaBrown.com, you can click at the very top and join my VIP vault. It looks like this. It is jam packed full of resources for you. It's behind a password protected page that you will get the password to if you give me your name and email. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in. So the first thing you want to do is obviously log in so you see the back end of Squarespace and on the left hand side you'll see pages, design, commerce, analytics, comments, and settings. Where we want to head is the settings. Now you would think something like this would be under design but it's actually not. It has been hidden underneath website and click on marketing. When you click on marketing, you will see your options to help market your website better. So your share buttons, pennant buttons, Facebook page, Google AdWords credit, and promotional pop-ups. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So if you go ahead and click on that, you're going to see this is what my pop-up looks like. All right, so what I put is, but wait, there's more. And I wanted to promote my shop my style and take a class. Now, I typically will get a commission on the things that sell under the shop my style page. And if you take a class, it's paying me directly. So these are ways that my free visitors can quickly be converted into paying customers of some sort. So I absolutely love this pop-up. Now here's the thing though. I have got some cover pages and some landing pages that I've created on the back end of my site. So what I didn't want to happen was ruin the illusion of a cover page or a landing page with a pop-up. You know, I really wanted to be specific about when that doggone pop-up was going to show up. So in order for you to edit that, you want to look at your timing and frequency. And so this is super important. I think this is a great place to start. You do not want to annoy people with the pop-ups. You want the pop-ups to seem like value added. So you've gotta be very specific about how often people see these things. So I say once a week, you can click on here under frequency and see you could say the next day, in two weeks, 30 days, or never. Now, I definitely would not select never so that if someone doesn't click on it the very first time, they never see it again. Um, but you may not wanna select the next day. So for me, I would say a week, it's probably a good amount of time to go past and you can experiment with that. If you get you know, text messages or direct messages and people say, oh my gosh, I love your site, but that pop-up really drives me bonkers, then go ahead and make the frequency longer, all right? So that's an option that you have. Now this is something that I really love about what they did. So you can automatically say show on a timer. So immediately when someone goes to your site, they see it or after five, 10, or 30 seconds. Now, I did not want that timer on because of my cover pages and my landing pages, because if it was simply based on the amount of time, then more than likely, I would get a pop-up on top of a landing page, which would look super tacky and confusing, because the purpose of a landing page or a cover page is to give people one call to action. If they're on that page and then all of a sudden, they've got you know one or two more things that they could be doing, it gets confusing and your conversions will go down. So what I selected was show on scroll. The reason why I did that is because you don't scroll on a cover page or a landing page. So in those situations, the pop-up will not show up because you're not scrolling. There's no need for you to scroll on those pages. So what it does is it does not show the pop-up unless you scroll 50% down on the page you're looking at. So what will happen is people will be perusing my content, preferably reading a blog post, and about halfway down the blog post, but wait, there's more, the pop-up comes up. 
So that's what I personally liked, but you can set this to whatever works for you. Now, if you choose to reset your settings, you can go ahead and just hit the reset button. And if you're building a brand new pop-up, that's an easy way to reset these settings because these settings will stay regardless of whether or not you've changed the style. So if you wanna quickly customize it to fit a new pop-up, just hit the reset button and they've got you covered. Now, one thing that I really do love, and you can see it in this example, is there's no branding on it. There's no brought to you by Sumo Me or supported by Privy or whatever. So what's really nice is it helps you to look more professional because there's no branding. And typically these third-party sites require you to pay to remove their branding. So Squarespace building this in is saving you money simply because they're not sticking Power by Squarespace on your pop-up. So I'm really appreciative of that and I think that's something to consider if you want to use pop-ups in your business also you have the option of whether or not to just do buttons or and that's under your action you can do buttons or you can say sign up for a newsletter so what's great about this is I preferred the buttons I wanted to send people to other pages so I could select that but if I wanted to collect emails just like the newsletter um, plugin in the website um, in your Squarespace website, you can connect it to MailChimp or a Google Drive spreadsheet. Now, if you do Google Drive, then obviously you'll have to go through the, the hoops of connecting it to Zapier and whatever email marketing service you use. But if you simply put, click a button, then you could send someone wherever they needed to go. You could send them to a ConvertKit landing page. You could send them to a ConvertKit form. So instead of you having to use Zapier to connect all those things, having the buttons allows you to have fewer um, integrations on your site, thus making it quicker. So I really like that they thought that through. So let's look at this. So obviously you have your content, you can put a headline in the body, you can add links in here. So that's kind of similar to your other content blocks on the site. And then you can choose the style. Now I chose to keep it black and white, but as you can see, you can get specific down to your fonts, your body, your background. You could do color behind the text. I like to keep things simple, but you can change that. You can change the shape of your buttons. I mean, this really does allow you a lot of different options. And the, the fun thing I like is it lets you choose the animation. You can decide whether you want it to fade in or whether you want it to scale up or whether you want it to slide in. Personally, I like the slide in, but it does give you that option to style it in such a way that fits your needs. So you've got your action, you can connect it to a newsletter form or to a couple buttons, the content, you can add a headline and text, timing and frequency so you can control when it shows up, and you can style it to match the rest of your website. So I love the built-in pop-up feature. I think it's great. I love that I'm not stuck having it show up every single time someone comes to my page or even just based on a timer. So if you're not using pop-ups to grow your email list, which ultimately is where the money is, this is something you should consider. Play around with it. Get feedback. See if people like it. See if people hate it. See how well it converts based on how many visitors you have to your page. And if it works, go ahead and keep it. So if you like this information, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I like to provide you with business advice to help you grow your biz without breaking the bank. Remember, you can always go to LashondaBrown.com, click on the very top, and join my VIP vault. Get all those resources, get your stuff straight so that you can start converting your visitors into paying customers. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.